Okay, here we go. Uh, Snez Donut Plains 3. Or as I like to call it, MK8 Snez Donut Plains 3. Or Wii U Snez Donut Plains 3. Is this more of a Wii U course? Is it more of a Snez course? Is it a 50 50 split? You be the judge. But uh, regardless, it's a fun course, and I hope we get more retros from Mario Kart 8. The ones that don't have an absurd amount of anti-gravity, I hope we get them in Mario Kart Wii. Um, I know someone made a pretty cool Ribbon Road, and I think that I think that Ribbon Road uh, is one of those courses where it doesn't play perfectly in its current form in CTGP, and if someone made a really good Wii U variant of GBA Ribbon Road, I wouldn't be surprised if the current Ribbon Road gets replaced. Because uh, I've seen one on the wiki and it looks really good. And maybe one day someone will make a really good Cheese Land also. There's probably a few more retros that would be great if they actually had a... Uh... Hang on, let me, let me get past these last couple corners. It's a very slidey course. But yeah, if they had recreations, a couple more Mario Kart 8 retros would do really well. Whoa! The Imposter Troy got eliminated. Okay. Well, I outlasted my imposter. That's good. Never want to lose to my imposter. Never want to lose to my imposter. 11 or left. Delfino Square Redemption. Let's go. Let's see what we can muster up. Hopefully a first place. So we can forget my last Delfino Square. Flame Runner. 200cc performance. Beautiful. Look at that lead after one lap. I cut that tight despite the blooper. 29.9 on Dry Bowser? What? That's actually nuts. Not the ideal spot to get shocked. However, I'm... Okay, yeah, I'm definitely going to be large again by the time I reach the shortcut, so I can do the shortcut again, which is nice. Yeah. a very good shortcut the fact that you can do it shroomless and the reason why that shortcut's so important look at this <laughs> I can go over that um, the reason why it's so important is because the mud shortcut is not as useful on 200 CC like I've said before it's like you can easily fall off while doing it it's not a free shortcut like it would be in the past so we're doing much better right now Three for three? Nope. Got no air. Still still fine though, because uh, we didn't fall off. The scary part is definitely <laughs> landing into the water. Terralius is out. We are down to 10. GBA Rainbow Road. to get my banana out immediately. You never know when someone can throw a red at you. This track's a lot more fun on 200cc. I always underperform on this one, so hopefully right now I can do much better. Whoa! Right as I say that. <laughs> right as I say that, I almost fall off. That's funny. But seriously, this is a track where I always feel like I'm better at it than I actually am. In my defense, though, it's a pretty hard course. Cut too much. You know what's kind of annoying about these, uh, these ramps? Oh, never mind. It was completely strategy. We avoided getting blued a second time. Boom. Calculated. Uh, but yeah, what's annoying about these ramps is like, even when you have so much speed because of 200cc, these ramps do not care about that at all. These ramps are brutal. You lose all your speed right when you go off them. Luckily, you can get a trick from them. Because if you don't get a trick, 
You slow down a lot. Another blue sh Oh, the dodge, the shroomless dodge. Wow, that doesn't happen too often. I get one of those, like, maybe every five to 10 GPs, a shroomless blue, blue shell dodge. Pretty cool. Pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm not doing anything too fancy on this one. That was low air, nice. That was much better. Great race. Vimo Goomba is out, we are down to nine. Bowser's Fiery Fortress. Gotta love these CTGP names. As I like to call it, uh, 3DS Bowser's Castle. <laughs> Ooh, I did not even remember there was lava right there. That is actually hilarious. Yo, look at this respawn point. Amazing respawn point. We're chilling, we're chilling. I was not expecting that. And we got mushrooms. Okay, this Peach player is uh, not messing around. I respect it. I want to see if I can make the comeback here. I'm in third. I love getting first because you start the next race in first. It really is a big advantage in these 200cc rooms. Front running is the strat for 200cc. However, <laughs> bullet bills are also broken, so uh, you can still come back. I love how broken the bullet bills are on 200cc. We also have... Uh, Mega Clouds enabled so you never get slowed down from a Thunder Cloud so you can hit every item box not having to worry about it screwing you over potentially. So that's another good thing. I'm just holding these mushrooms to uh... Oh. I'm just holding, I was just holding those mushrooms just in case of disaster, you know? Like whenever I hit something I could speed right back up and it, they were coming in handy and I had one left but nothing I can do about that, that's for sure. I'm not that far behind right now, I'm really not. I'm not gonna hit that mushroom. Yes, that was a lot of air. I did not, I, I... Okay, <laughs> whoever made the fire pillar is cactus? <laughs> that was so mean, and you should never have done that. <laughs> Nobody wants to run into a fire pillar <laughs> because they hit a ground mushroom and have it be cactus that shoots them away and makes them spin out. That is just brutal. No one's gonna like that. MJ is out. We are down to eight. Okay. Let's go. Not the best start there. And I almost just fell off. I need to get it together. It's a short course. I can easily get eliminated on this one. Not sure when I should use this golden. Okay, well he threw his red, so I'm gonna use it now. Guys, this is a secret strat right here. Look at these strats. The beauty about taking weird lines is you never have to worry about traps <laughs> or items because you know no one else took these lines, so you know there's going to be nothing that can screw you over. Like, oh, see, like that banana. Hopefully I'm still okay. This is a really close pack, gotta be careful. If I get hit by one item, I could be out. We're good, we're good, we're good. Swanster is out, we are down to seven. I think it's going to happen. I think the NBA season will come back. Fingers crossed, man. All right. We're playing another, oh my god, oh my god, I drifted the wrong way, I'm screwed, I'm screwed, game over. Um, playing another Mario Kart 8 course. Here we go! <laughs> I want to keep this thundercloud badly. We're good, yeah, we're definitely going to keep it. There's no one even near me. Oh, and I break drifted that perfectly. I break drifted that so well. And then this is just disgusting now, because I can take every single shortcut in the game, one after another, back to back to back. And just like that, we have a breakaway. I love how that small ramp gives you a flipping trick. I think that's so cool, because it doesn't look like it would give you a flipping trick. Um, a lot of ramps in custom tracks, like, they will have a boost ramp, they'll have a booster, but then because they're a small ramp, they'll just give you a stunt trick, and I'm happy that one gives you a flip trick. 
because every single ramp that has a booster should give you a flip trick. Nate's den is out. It looks like uh, Swanster was still on the uh, the voting screen. Um, but uh, yeah, so Nate Den is out. We're down to six. I think this track is really well made. I, I don't really go for the shortcut on 200cc. I think it's too risky. That ramp is not the best, that shortcut ramp. Wow, I missed both low tricks. OJ's gone. This thing's drift is not great. I was able to make that corner. The hard part about that is if you get the trick boost, you uh, you can't break drift because you can't break drift while you have a boost. So if you're mushrooming, you can't break drift. And then if you're tricking or uh, what's it called, going off a, a zipper, like you you can't break drift. So you got to be careful. Great pull. I'm gonna have to use it <laughs> prematurely. Oh well. I actually like doing this quite a bit. Nice. Last lap, here we go. Got him with the banana. I laid that quick. I did not realize he was that close to me. He hit that almost instantly. The route I'm taking right now is not the quickest. It's a little slower than what you could do. The reason why I'm taking it Yes! Oh, awesome. The reason why I was taking it, though, was uh, because I'm on the Flame Runner and I can't make the the corner otherwise to do it quicker. Quinster is out! We are down to five. Just like that, we're down to five. This is going by quick and speedy. Race eight out of 11, if we make it to the end. Final five on this course, and I hit the freaking... Two, three people, three people hit the, hit the crab. That's hilarious. Oh, beautiful. It's even better, dude. See, sometimes front running is overrated when you can just, uh, you know, pull good items. Oh, well. I love how you can use the palm trees as little uh, barriers for the reds. That's cool. Third place box out of five. What's it going to give me? Triple shrooms. I'm gonna keep spamming for items. I'm very happy that there's a Yoshi like 6,000 feet behind. That's not a good pull though. Yes, nice. Third place, close finish. That Yoshi was catching up. I tried to get the other player with my bomb, but I missed. Whew. Neop is out. We're down to four. Oh, he stole my box. OJ. I'm pretty scared on this one. It's a mock bike course and I'm on the flame runner. I just have to hope that someone really screws up. Because OJ is already gone, you know? It's gonna be really hard to beat him. The good news is, the other two mock bike players are having a little bit of a tough time. We have a slight lead from them right now. That was good. That was really good. I did that too well, almost. <laughs> I did that so well, I actually hit that wall. I never hit that wall. I had a really good slope, and I was brake drifting as hard as I could. <laughs> I hit the wall before the shortcut. Very happy with this right now. It's almost like two separate races happening, you know? I'm not even using my items because I'm super fine with second place. And I have a really good 
shield right now. Because if a blue shell happens, I'm good. And if one of them comes out of nowhere and tries to pass me, I mean, I have some ammo. I can throw a red at them. So we're good. We're good. I will gladly take second place. We are in the final three. Let's see who gets eliminated. Dark is out. We are down to three. All right, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is another track that I'm very happy I'm not playing in the 1v1, because this is a this is a twisty course and I don't think I will be able to, uh, I don't think I'm gonna be able to win this one. There's just so much break drifting I have to do, I have to slow down so much to make these corners. You never know though. If you get ahead, you can just backstab a lot, so I'm trying to get ahead early. I wanna start the final race in first place, so I wanna win this one really badly. Got him. Nice, that was huge. If I can get OJ out right now, that would be a huge, huge plus because OJ is definitely the better of the two racers left. He has significantly more points than the other player, the Luigi player. So we'll see how everything shakes out, but I'm gonna be playing pretty viciously this next lap and a half because you gotta do what you gotta do. Okay, it looks like OJ has a little breakaway from the Luigi player. It's probably going to be me versus him in the end. I'm just going to have to hope for good track selection. Okay, we're good. Hit the boost panels. Lay some nanners. Get a little green shell action. Throw some more nanners. And it's close between... Luigi and OJ, but it looks like OJ is going to come out on top and Sixel, the Luigi player, is going to be eliminated. We are down to two. Final two. This is the final race and oh, we have a good one. This track is insane. All right, good luck OJ. This is a 300cc race because this track has a speed mod. Speed mod plus 200cc equals 300cc. Oh man, I'm excited. Okay, we don't play this one too often. I don't know if I've ever played this one as a final race before. I'm gonna grab this because I don't know if he can pull another red. Any moment. I think he just hit a pokey. He's falling further behind. This is a comeback track though. So even though we have a lead, you're never safe when you play this one, ever. You're never safe. We do have a slight speed advantage, which is nice. That made no sense. I'm so lucky to avoid that thing. Got the trick, nice. I've been in first this entire race. But all that matters is what place you finish in, so all of this... Oh! Can I get the trick there? No trick? I'm gonna get... Oh, I missed the box. Slidey, 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 slidey. I'm so worried right now. Gotta watch out for this guy. There's so many pokies on this course. And he's doing the shortcut, but it's not going to be enough. <sighs> I hit a pokey. He hit a pokey. He probably just didn't pull enough mushrooms. And we're able to take that one home. Dry Bowser is now off the character chart. Good games to OJ, the Wee Wheeler. And now we will embark on our final challenge. We have now completed a 200cc KO. First place with every character in the game except for one. The me. Can we do it with our iconic TWD red glasses me? Let's find out. <laughs> the me just looks so stupid. Oh my gosh. And the sound effects are also just awful. <sighs> the final boss. The Troy me. Can we do it? Can we complete the 200cc KO series? Let's find out. Wario's Coliseum. Oh, wow. This one is the first course. I actually really enjoy this one. Well, actually, I take that back. Let me rephrase that. I really enjoy the fact 
that this track is hard, so I don't get eliminated on it that often, because just for the sheer fact that everyone fails on this one, and there's always a giant gap in the minimap, and the fact that we're playing it first when there's 12 people left and there's such a variance of skill level means that, like, <laughs> we're gonna be fine. <laughs> the scary courses are the ones like Shy Guy Beach. Those are the ones where I'm just like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I could get eliminated. Anyone could get eliminated. What? Where did he come from? Did someone just do a shortcut? Someone knows a shortcut. This guy. I actually managed to get a trick so early. Oh, this is funny. This is so funny. I was just talking about not getting eliminated, and here I am in 10th place. <laughs> Legendary. What a start. What a start. I, I got such a good low trick that I missed... I missed the, uh, the little uh, off-ramp thing. Where'd Emma go? Emma dodged, and then she just yeeted off the map. <laughs> Where'd Emma go? She's gone. Oh no, Emma. Emma's gotta make the comeback. Emma can't go out first. Emma's the fan favorite. Okay, we have a Mega Mushroom. We know the shock was just used, so we don't want to use it anytime too soon. We want to wait a little bit. Nice, we managed to not hit the invisible wall. The fast falling is broken there, and nobody does it. That's the, that's the strat. You got to fast fall. Oh, my Mega Mushroom. That sucks. I was going to use it after this ramp. I was actually going to wait. I was probably going to wait until... Oh, I got another one. Doesn't matter. Huh. Um, I was gonna use it right after right here. I was gonna use it like right here Because you're drifting a lot here and you go faster in the mega mushroom when you're drifting while you don't really go faster on straightaways So gain a little bit of time when you're drifting That was wild. That was wild Okay, we got third place. <laughs> okay, so apparently I got second place. I have no idea how, but Swanster is out and we're down to 11. Okay, Moo Moo Meadows. Look the Flame Runner, which is really good. This is this is a great Flame Runner course for 200cc. Nice. Missed the mini turbo. Whoa, Lady Gaga coming out of nowhere. Nice try, Lady Gaga. Nice try. <laughs> you see that? I pulled the ground mushroom. So ground mushroom blue shell dodges are way more lenient on 200 CC Which is why even though I was on the tail end of my mushroom boost It was still enough to propel myself out of the blast radius and secure the epic first place What a great race things are off to a fine and dandy start baby James is eliminated final 10 This could be the end of the 200 CC KOs. This could be the end I'm definitely going for the box. Okay, not the best start. Oh my gosh, I got I got bumped really badly right there because my uh, trajectory was just straight off the edge, and I didn't realize uh, I didn't even realize what was happening until it was too late. <laughs> Pretty cool, pretty cool, pretty cool. This bullet bill, man. Oh my gosh. Oh no, I almost dodged. I almost I almost held it long enough. Dang it. That sucks. Wall small? Wall small? <laughs> That's awesome. I had to I had to go for it, you know? Lady Gaga was in first. That sucks, that sucks.
Okay, I mean, I guess there's a silver lining here. There was a blue shell coming regardless. We're good, we're good. <laughs> that, was, uh, that was a good Toad's Factory race. Normally, Toad's Factory, what happens is some people fall really far behind, but that was close. Everyone was in it to win it. Quinster is out, we're down to nine. We got Lakeside Park, it's got a volcano, just like Grown Volcano and DK Mountain. I love courses that have volcanoes in them. I'm a big volcano guy. I got to visit a couple volcanoes in my life. I've been to Hawaii, and I went to uh, Mount Haleakala, and I remember I um, I, my, I remember taking uh, photos of the mountain, and I ended up. Hang on, I need to make this shortcut before I tell the story. Okay, so anyway, I remember. Um, <laughs> so we were driving up the mountain. The volcano, I should say. Mount Haleakala. We kept getting out of the car to take photos. I'm just gonna go through this. I'm just gonna suck it up and go through this very slowly. And then go get this item box. <laughs> and um, I remember I was eating one of those like breakfast, breakfast granola bars, I guess would be the way to describe it. And um, I'm in last right now, oh my gosh. But yeah, I was eating one of those and like, we were on, like, the very edge of the, uh, volcano, um, <laughs> and I slipped, and I fell immediately. I didn't fall off the edge, but I got kind of close, and it was really, it really freaked my parents out, and I remember the funniest part was that as I fell, I didn't even let go of the breakfast granola bar in order to, like, <laughs> to put my hands down to, like, get a better grip, so I didn't fall, like, down the volcano instead <laughs> instead I held on to the breakfast granola bar and like injured my elbow and landed on my elbow and like my parents were like they're like why didn't you just let go of the granola bar and I was just like I don't know I was like I don't know what you could fall off right there oh I think I'm out wait no we're good I, I did not even know there was a gap right there I guess you learn something new every day what a wild course. But anyway, yeah. I've, I've also been to a volcano in Japan, but the Hawaii experience was more memorable because I almost fell down the volcano. And I injured my elbow. But I saved the granola bar and I ate the rest of it. Emma is out. We are down to eight. TikTok clock without... This is like TikTok clock while it was under construction. That's how I would describe this TikTok clock because <laughs> nothing is working in this TikTok clock. The pendulum, the gears, none of it's moving or present. It's a very simplified TikTok clock. And eventually we'll have the full TikTok clock in CTGP. I really look forward to that day. Ooh. And did some damage. I'm just gonna use this now. Even though it's really early. You just hate to see it happen. Kind of an uneventful race. I believe that's OJ in first. OJ wants redemption for... I'm not racing like someone who's won 24 of these. That's for sure. I'm gonna go up this slowly. I'm gonna get a little double trick. Don't worry, guys. Perfect gameplay for the rest of the KO. We've got all of the... Uh... <laughs> we got all of the... Uh... I don't know what you call it, the respawns out of our system. You know, sometimes we want Lakitu to do a little bit of work, pick us up every once in a while, but I'm over it. Lakitu's done enough today. No more falling off. 
Perfect gameplay for the rest of this KO, I promise. I promise, guys, I promise. But yeah, 1 p.m. is normally when I stream. But these are not normal times. Okay. This is Snez BC1. I've gotten pretty good at this one. I'm just gonna use this here because we know there's no uh, there's no boosters for a while, and the golden is best when you're not wasting it on boosters like these, because the golden speeds you up the same amount as a zipper. go like hit all three of those zippers but on 200 cc you have so much speed that the, the the boost from that first zipper is enough where you don't even need the second one. Oh my gosh I'm just dodging so many blue shells <laughs> so many blue shells all right remember how I told you perfect gameplay was gonna come back right after I fell off on tiktok clock I was not kidding I was not kidding and I see my imposter right now who's in last place Imposter Troy is out. We are down to six as we reach the back half of the KO. OJ is in the lead with 64 points. This is not the donut planes that we fear, but it is a donut planes. Ooh, nice snipe. <laughs> kind of made up for me hitting the wall, trying to take that first corner too tight. Okay, it looks bad right now. I know it looks bad. But I'm bagging for items. So it's all part of the strategy. Well, I didn't really want a golden. <laughs> this is so funny. I'm like freestyling freestyle right now. Whoa! That's awesome. I'm just gonna use this because things have not been going as planned. And this thing does not drift tight. I should be able to maybe get this box over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Almost hit that. That's the worst item. We're good. That was a scary race. I thought that course would be easier for the flame runner. I was wrong. It's actually a pretty slidey course and there's a lot of U-turns and I was struggling. I was struggling on that course. Boomer is out, we're down to five. Okay, we got Rainbow Road. Can we get the moon jump, please, please, please? Nope, no moon jump, that sucks. I just hope I don't get bumped off. There we go. This is gonna be fun with the flame runner probably. I don't get to play this one with the flame runner very often. Should do okay, hopefully. We'll see. <laughs> Oh, Lord. That was almost catastrophic. There's only five left. So it's a pretty high stakes race right here. <laughs> so cool. How did that happen? <laughs> I just catapulted off. Now I'm getting comboed. Uh oh. <laughs> well, I'm in first, but I got I got Phantom Green Shell. I got Green Shell by a ghost. <laughs> so much for perfect gameplay. So much for perfect gameplay. 
I was doing much better at Dry Bowser. Much better. Things are not working out with my meat. I guess I'll use this? Uh, dude, maybe I can still win this race, we'll see. Blue shell, that's, that's good. I don't know if it'll get there before the cannon. It probably will. Yeah, it reached. Oh, where's this gonna respawn me? This should probably put me in front of the items. Yeah, that's fine. It's a hard, it's a hard course to play with the flame runner. Ooh, <laughs> too much speed. <laughs> this thing's giving me too much speed. The good thing is, is there's a Daisy player that's really struggled on this course, so we're gonna be fine. But I had a hard time with the flame runner on Rainbow Road. <laughs> I'll take third place. We're just kind of barely squeaking by on this this last KO here, this last character KO. Lady Gaga is out, OJ survives, final four. This track is gonna be a lot easier for me than some of these other recent ones we've played with the Flame Runner. Like Donut Plains and Rainbow Road, I was I was having a hard time on. This will this will be fine, I think. This track does not have a streamless shortcut like the old Sky Garden does, so. You gotta rely on items quite a bit. Okay, we're in last place. Nope, someone failed the shortcut. Extremely good item. The question is, is a gold mushroom an item I can take two shortcuts with? I hit their uh, back trail. Because I can do this, I can cut this corner, and then I can take this over here, but I don't think I have enough to reach the full shortcut. Or do I? Do I? Oh, you do! You can take both shortcuts on 200cc with a gold, and that's absolutely absurd. Look at the breakaway now. Look at that. Play of the KO right there. Took, like, so many shortcuts. Gonna have to go around here. All right, first place, final three. Much better, much better. I knew we'd do better on that course than some of those other ones. That's a track where being on the mock bike doesn't really give you that much of an advantage. None of those corners are too, too difficult. Sixel is out, final three. Dark, OJ, myself, two Wee Wheelers are here to take us down. How is this track for the Flame Runner? I think this one's not that bad. I really don't think it's bad at all. I think we'll be okay. Because I've played this one plenty. I know. I know the layout extremely well. Which means I hopefully won't do anything stupid. Yeah. That was great. That was a great first lap. And I don't trick there because then you'll hit the cage up top. I remember that. I might do it on lap two just to show you guys. Okay, that's good. That's good. I don't want to make any mistakes, because if we get like double blue shelled and get eliminated, then I won't be mad. But if I make a mistake, and then get blued, and then end up getting last, I would be so, so bummed. Especially when you made it this far. But yeah, watch, I'll trick. Okay, well I didn't trick there, but you still got to see what happens, because I, I just some somehow got catapulted off that. Got catapulted off that ramp. Peach player spinning out, that's OJ. Oh yeah, they're spinning out a lot right now. This track does not play that well on 150cc. It's really, really bumpy and random and 
kind of feels outdated, but on 200, it like magically plays decently. It's not bad. But yeah, <laughs> that's what happens when you trick. You gotta be very careful. I like to jump off that last ramp and just nosedive and fast fall and then just hope you don't hit that invisible wall up where the cage is because it's a big time loss. Luckily, I had a breakaway. I drove that really well. It didn't end up mattering that I messed up on lap two. And we pulled out the first place and Dark is eliminated. OJ gets his chance at a rematch. Final two. Good games, Dark, good games. May the best man win, OJ. Let's do this. Here we go. Bowser Castle 2 from Mario Kart DS and Mario Kart Super Circuit. Final race. Gotta not miss low tricks. He dodged, dodged both items. He's putting up a fight, boys. He's putting up a fight. He wants this. I'm gonna play another banana there, and I'm gonna not hit the boost panel next lap, probably. I'm laying traps kind of everywhere right now. I got him with something. One more lap, one more lap. Let's see if we can complete the character KOs. Low trick, low trick. Not a low trick. But it is over, it is over. And that wraps things up. <laughs> we came in clutch when we needed it, and we finished strong, and it was a very close GP between me and OJ. Only one race separated who would come out on total with the points on top, and uh, good games once again. And we completed every single character in Mario Kart Wii with 200cc knockout tournaments. That concludes the series, but we, were, we will not be done with 200cc KOs permanently. We will play the occasional 200cc KO with a wild vehicle choice, something that is not the bullet bike, flame runner, or mock bike, and test our luck against players who are using those three said vehicles. And we'll see how we do. We'll see if we can win some with some crazy vehicles. Definitely gonna start with the quacker. But uh, regardless, good games to everyone, and thank you for watching.